back. CB 550K, black and gold, no orange stripe on it. Sounds good, looks good. Go to West Main Street if you want to know where it's at. Fast like a cash and pickup truck could be yours. Let's not say this car's gonna get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like senior sex, you purrs like a kitten. Quiet. This is a fantastic motorcycle. Classic 78, 1978. CD 550K. This is one of the last years of the four into four, which is a real classic look uh, dating back to the 69, the original 750K. Whoops, just dropped the mic. This is this is the original K model. I love the gold badges on it. It absolutely purrs like a kitten. I mean, literally purrs like a kitten. But when you open it up, she, she, she's got a roar to her. Uh, it, is, it runs really strong for a 550 for sure. And the guy that we that, that originally owned this bike, he was a motorcycle, That the guy we bought it from was a motorcycle course instructor so he knew his way, his way around bikes and how to maintain them and took good care of it and quite a bit of, of work has been done to the bike to uh, keep it in its present mint condition with 12,390 original miles on it um, starting with the uh, at the front of the bike the bike has new fork seals on it and uh, new fork rubber boots uh, you can see the front tire on it if you zoom in those are brand new set of tires we uh, manic mechanics just put on there um, quite a bit of work so 550 cc single overhead cam four cylinder it's derived from their highly developed transverse 4 750 uh, it's considered to be a sport touring model excellent handling performance bulletproof reliable and the results of years of honda engineering it's a five speed four stroke four cylinder absolutely uh, you know four carbs four exhaust it's very traditional design Easy to ride, economical, get north of 60 miles of the gallon. It'll do over 100 miles an hour and cruise all day long in comfort. The seating position is real nice on it. So first thing we did when we got it in is did the engine compression test. That tested perfect at 135 PSI on all cylinders. They're all perfect match. Uh, we installed the brand new Uasa battery in it and four new NGK spark plugs. Uh, went through the whole fuel system. The fuel tank was drained, rinsed, and inspected and cleaned. Uh, put VP94 non-ethanol fuel in there. The cars were removed, completely disassembled, cleaned. We inspected them and reassembled them, adjusted the fuel screws, synchronized the carburetors, changed the oil. Uh, and uh, when, once we got the, the bike running perfectly and the carb synchronized beautifully, we uh, went through all the lights. All the lights were checked and working. Um, we put a new horn on it, uh, new tachometer. Let's see, new clutch control lever, new front brake control lever. Uh, new OEM mirrors, new OEM decals. Those decals are the, um, actually, you know what? Jeff never put them on. That's funny. Uh, he, he bought new OEM decals. for. See this right here uh, on the chain? That right there it says new OEM decals. I know he has them, um, but to replace that decal, it's just like in what, what they call idiot stickers, yep. just instructions on what to do with the bike. This is the original fuel tank decal here. Pretty remarkable that it's still intact 40 years later so actually i had to do the math it's 46 years later so it's in a remarkably good condition um, when the forks were dismantled of course they put new fork seals in it and new 10 weight fork oil uh, if you look at the rear chain that, that's a brand new gold heavy duty final drive chain so and the rear tire was also replaced their continental uh, replica duro front tire and continental replica duro rear tire so they're a replica of the originals they look just like them it's a little more modern sticky rubber so the handles a little bit better um, of course new tube in the rear bike was given a full nut and bolt check over and then a full rotisserie detail it was steam clean hand washed um, if you look at the front forks you'll see uh, the front forks the, the clear coating was removed the original clear coating was removed and then they were polished so um, they look like they're chrome, but they're actually polished really nicely. Um, 
A little bit of patina on the front fender. It is a 46 year old bike. Uh, no, no, I don't see any dents or damage on the fender, but by, by patina, I mean, just a little bit of discoloration on the chrome. Um, you can see that on the rim also, but uh, more proof that this is an original 45 year old bike with 12,000 miles. Um, the engine cases on this side are in beautiful condition. You can see the, the clutch cover was also polished. That's the original chrome uh, cover here. It's in excellent condition. Uh, the engine is, uh, the engine cases were repainted the cloud silver, as were the, the cylinder itself. The cylinder head is raw aluminum. The top of the cylinder was, was polished. Um, carbs, of course, were cleaned inside and out when they're rebuilt. And you can see that the engine cases are super clean. No oil, no oil anywhere on this bike. This has the original, um, see that little yellow mark right there? That's an original from the factory when they made the bike. That was a uh, inspection when, when they inspected it, the torque on it, uh, it they would um, torque them down and then put that, that check mark on there with a yellow marker or yellow paint marker. And they also did it on the brake lever. Um, I, I don't recall seeing one with those on there still. It's probably, bike's probably never been power washed or, or um, certainly never been abused. It's been well cared for. Uh, original side cover is intact. This is the rear seat, or the front rear seat, the seat, uh, passenger and rider. You can see it's still, still. I don't see any, any damage at all anywhere on the seat or rips. Usually after 40 something years, the vinyl will crack and tear, but this has never been left out in the sun or anything. Rear fender's in real nice condition. Overall, the bike is absolutely freaking gorgeous uh, and, and original, original paint. So you know that the, the tank's never been been bashed or the uh, it's ne bike's never been smashed or abused. The engine case covers on this side uh, are, are beautifully polished, as is the counter shaft sprocket cover. And um, again, the cylinder looks great, the head, uh, the pegs are like brand new. Uh, the center stand was repainted. The um, kickstand was repainted. Uh, I believe the swing arm was repainted. And uh, yeah, it's just just a beautiful piece, man. Good luck finding a nicer one with 12 that, that's been this well sorted. They're, they're just few and far between. You might find some on Craigslist or Facebook or eBay that just need a carb clean. Uh, I would say buyer beware. I've been down this road over 7,000 times. 7,000 plastic bikes we've purchased and sold and I'm responsible for 300 of them here at the museum so usually a carb clean means uh you know leads into other things so next thing you know it's a tires and chains and sprockets and battery and everything else we did to this bike so um this one's a diamond owned by a gentleman who knew how to take care of his bikes and uh, had multiple bikes so this one didn't, didn't get used much let me give you a quick riding demo on it and if you have any questions about it give us a call at 860-454-7024 we offer financing in house here, and we ship this anywhere in the country for you. Fires right up, person is getting. This room runs remarkably well. That's an that's indication of a well sink, well tuned set of carburetors.
hard for us to find a better running classes than this. It's, I don't know if the video does it justice for how well it's smooth as six poles. The carbs are dialed into the nines. And uh, all, all the uh, replaceable.